Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. y is equal is function of let me write like this p r or let me use small letter a little bit of p r beta delta a delta r then you know that c y which i can define as y by half rho v square s into b this is to be noted for CL, for CL and CM, the characteristic length was mean anadromic chord, but for all lateral directional coefficient, the characteristic length is B, the span. Right? That's why B has come. So this is again, I can write function of P R beta delta A delta R. Right? So that you don't get confused, I write f star something, or let me delete this. Okay. So C y is function of this, so I can expand C y as C y naught plus d C y by d p b by two u one into p b by two u one. You understand why we are using p b by two u one because we want to non-dimensionalize road net, right? plus d c y by d again r is a rate. So, r b by 2 u 1 into r b by 2 u 1 plus d c y by d beta into beta. There is no need to multiply it by b and divide by 2 u 1 because beta itself is dimensionless. Similarly, d c y by d delta a into delta a plus d c y by d r d delta r into delta r. In a short notation, we can write this as c y equal to c y beta into beta plus c y p into p b by 2 u 1 and c y r c y delta a and c y delta r, where c y is side force y non-dimensionalized with dynamic pressure half rho v square into s. Right? If I know this, I can easily write the expression for C L and C N. What is C L? C L is rolling moment non-dimensionalized with half rho v square s, but it is a rolling moment, so a length term is required, so it is b. Uh, please note that for longitudinal case, the characteristic length was c bar, but for lateral directional case, the characteristic length will be the span b, that is b is used here. So, this I can easily write again C L beta into beta plus C L p into p b by 2 u 1 plus C L r into r b by 2 u 1 plus C L delta A into delta A plus C L delta R into delta R. Okay? Similarly, I can write for Young moment coefficient C n, which is nothing but Young moment non-dimensionalized with half rho v square s what? B or C? It is directional case, it is B. Okay? This is equal to, I write again, C n beta into beta plus C n p into p b by 2 u 1 plus C n r into r b by 2 u 1 plus C n delta a into delta a plus C n delta r into delta r. Please understand this sort of an expansion strictly true for low speed and moderate performance airplane, where we are assuming everything to be linear. 
Today's modern aircraft, the airplanes are very high performance with high rates, high angle of attack. So there, writing or expanding this in terms of linearized concept may not be true, unless and until you cleverly, judiciously, locally linearize it. But there are different ways of handling it. Okay, so that should be kept in your mind all all the time. So now, if I erase this to make the board clear, so I write this is C. Uh, L. So this is CL, this is CN. It goes without saying that we have put CL naught and CN naught identically equal to zero. Okay. Now see here. Before you do anything, before you play any game with this derivative, let us be sure we have understood this in terms of their sign. In stability. Many a times, perhaps most of the time, one should be very, very careful about the sign. The sign decides more importantly than the magnitude. For example, DCM by DCL should be less than 0 decides longitudinal static stability. C n beta greater than 0 decides directional static stability. C l beta less than 0 decides lateral static stability. It is a sign. The magnitude decides the control part of it. Right? If this is very large negative means highly statically stable. So, if you want to change from one trim to another trim, lot of effort you have to put. Similar thing, if C n beta is large, that means it will become very sensitive to crosswind. Similar C l beta, you understand that. Right? So, if I want to cross check, whether I understood the signs or not, let us take one by one. C y beta, what will be its sign? We will draw a tile like this and positive beta means wind is coming from the right hand side and flying like this, this is the relative air speed. So, if this is positive beta and you know that your x y is here, z is here. So, the force of the vertical tail will be opposite of y. right? So, the sine of C i beta is less than 0. Is this clear? I want to demonstrate the sine of C i beta. Suppose, this is the vertical tail. I am moving like this and let us say this is the relative at speed. Then the side force on the vertical tail will be this direction. But where is my y direction? Y is x is this, y is this direction and force is in this direction for positive beta. So, C y beta becomes negative. right? Next is C y p. If we take only vertical tail, please understand these signs of the whole derivative should be seen as a combination of all the components. We are discussing about the sign of C y beta and we have seen that C y beta because the vertical tail will be negative. But at this, at this point, please understand C y beta will have a component because of C y beta of vertical tail, C y beta of wing, C y beta of fuselage, all this, right. So, we have to check each and every component how they are going to add. I am only giving an illustrative example. I am using vertical tail for most of the time because that contributes the maximum for most of the cases. So, C y beta less than 0 you have understood. Now, C y p, if I again try to see what is the vertical tail contribution, you could see that if this is the vertical tail and p positive mean right wing going down like this. So, the this is pushing the air downward and this fin will experience force in this opposite direction, right? Okay, in this direction. So, y is this way. So, force is in this direction. So, again C y p because the vertical tail is less than 0, but with wing and sweep it may change the sign. Right? I am talking about vertical tail. Then comes C y r, again C y r you see this is the airplane, this is the vertical tail, positive r is this. Okay? So, this tail is pushing the air this way, it is experiencing force in this direction and y is also in this direction. So, C y r is greater than 0. I repeat, as it takes positive r, 
this vertical tail is pushing the air this way and it experiences a force in this direction and we know y is in this direction. So, C y r is positive and then C y delta r you know what is delta r positive delta r positive is towards left like this deflected towards left and moving like this the force will be coming in this direction the vertical tail will experience a force in this direction which is along the positive y direction. So, C y delta r will be positive. Okay. Please use pen and one paper like this and try to cross check these signs. What I am talking here let us not forget all this I am taking the contribution of vertical tail. Okay. However, we know the overall contribution has to be seen. Right. Now, coming back to C L in C L you see there is C L beta and the moment C L beta comes if I want to check the sign if you know C L beta contribution would be because of C L beta vertical tail, C L beta wing, C L beta fuselage. At least here we know that if it is a high wing C L beta because of wing C L beta because of wing will be less than 0 that is contribution of wing. If it has a dihedral like this again C L beta wing contribution will be less than 0 and if it is a low wing like this then of course C L beta is greater than 0 this much we know for vertical tail let us see what happens if this is the vertical tail C L beta means it has bank started side slipping. So, as the side slips force will act on the vertical in this direction and that will give rolling moment about center line and where the left wing will go down. So, again that is a negative sign. So, C L beta less than 0 when you are talking about vertical tail. Then comes C, o, C L P what is C L P extremely important C L P this is D C L by D P B by 2 U 1 this is also called roll damping. Remember for longitudinal case for longitudinal case similar was C M Q which was pitch damping derivative. Okay. So, let us see what is C L P who are the prime contributor here the wing is prime contributor for C L P prime contributor is wing. What happens suppose this is positive P I am flying into the board and positive roll that means right wing going down what is what you see here at each point at a distance r this will see a vertical component of relative air which is P into r right omega r. This divided by u 1 let us say moving the forward speed that will give you a approximate angle of attack at each section. So, this will in cumulative way generate a force in this direction which will be proportional to alpha delta alpha here which has p. So, this will be proportional to p roll rate similar thing will happen here in reverse direction right. So, this will in turn give a rolling moment it will give a rolling moment. and which will be proportional to p that is more important. Okay. And you know the reaction moment proportional to p or proportional to the rate correct is proportional to the rate we attribute it to damping derivatives right or it causes damping to the dynamics. As we have seen for second order system C x dot plus k x equal to f of t you see this one C x dot. So, here we see that the the moment it tries to bank like the moment it tries to bank like this just immediately there is a moment to add to opposite and that opposing moment is proportional to the rate and that is why this is called roll damping and primary contributor is wing and obviously the sign C L P is 
negative for a positive p for a positive p writing going down moment is this way left going down. So, C L p is negative as C M q for longitudinal case was negative and both are damping derivatives this one for lateral case this is for longitudinal case. Okay. So, C L p is okay. what about C L r let us see what is C L r once C L p is over now look for C L r what is C L r C L r is D C L by D R B by 2 U 1 that means question is if this body is having a U rate like this which is a positive U rate right wing going back will it create a rolling moment as a reaction or not you see very simple as it rotates like this this vertical tail is pushing the air this way so it will experience a force in this direction and that force will be somewhere at the center of this fin or vertical tail so that force into the distance between the force and the center line will give me a positive rolling moment that is if this is the fuselage this is the vertical tail as it goes for r is positive or r is positive at the right wing going back so there will be a force experience in this direction and this force into this y bar will give me a positive rolling moment. So, C L r is greater than 0 sin by C L r is greater than 0. I repeat again here if this is the vertical tail if it is having a positive r the u rate like this as it moves like this tail will push the air this way. So, it will experience a force in this direction or let me show it I repeat as this body having a positive r the right wing going back this tail is pushing the air that way. So, the tail will experience a force in this direction and this force into this distance the offset from the center line will give a positive rolling moment and that is what positive C L so, that is why C L r is greater than 0. Okay. Once C L r is over then C y delta a and C y delta r that is straightforward depending upon which way you are deflecting the aileron you know if this is my wing if I put this aileron down and this aileron up then I will bank like this. So, if I define this combination as a positive delta a then C L delta is negative if I define other way the C L delta a will become positive. So, depending upon delta a sign you can pick positive or negative, but as far as C L delta r is concerned you know that delta r if this is a rudder delta r positive is this towards left looking from the top and I am moving forward as I deflect like this force will be in this direction. So, this force into the distance from the axis will give me a positive rolling moment. So, C L delta r is greater than 0 this is very simple if I deflect towards left force will be in this direction this force into this distance y bar which will give me a positive roll when I am moving in this direction right. So, C L delta r is positive I repeat here again with this small example if this is the fuselage this is a rudder I deflect it like this which is positive by convention which is everybody agrees. So, then as it moves forward the force is in this direction and this force into this distance from center line will give a positive rolling moment that is why C L delta r is positive. Now, let us talk about C n if I come to C n let us see what is the sign of C n beta C n beta you have no confusion it has to be greater than 0 if it is statically stable in directional case right. What about C n p again if I talk about contribution of vertical tail let us see what happens this is the body and this is the vertical tail C and P that is if I give a P like this roll rate how the yawing moment will generate as I roll it like this you could see that the vertical tail will get a force in this direction and that force 
and C G sum over here will give a positive yang moment. Am I correct? C n p p is this as it is going p vertical tail will get a force in this direction which will give a yawing moment positive. So, C n C n p is greater than 0 C n r what is C n r you know C m q damping in pitch C l p is damping in roll. So, C n r is damping in in yaw right. So, this is again for a statically stable a plus C n r is negative less than 0 and then if I talk about C n delta r you can check yourself if this is the fuselage this is the rudder and this is the positive towards left as I move forward force will be like this in this direction and this will give a yawing moment about C g in the negative way the force is there point is here. So, it will give moment like this yawing moment negative. So, C n delta r will be less than 0. Okay. This understanding of the signs are extremely important and please understand most of the cases I have shown the contribution due to vertical tail and wherever wing played a important role dominating role I have mentioned it, but in practice you have to see the contribution because of all the 3, 4, 5 components right that may have propeller also. Okay that becomes an involved thing, but you as a as a flight dynamics man should understand that I need to be bothered about these derivatives, because why you understand that finally, when you are going for dynamic stability study that stability matrix remember this a huge one took lot of time to write and from after taking Laplace transform and all this matrix is constructed with these derivatives. And if they are not correct in sign and magnitude, you know, that stability matrix will be altered, right? And then you will get some fictitious result. So, that is why before you go to that, I thought a revision on this will be extremely important. Okay. In the next class, we will go for developing short period equation of motion pertaining to lateral directional case. Thank you very much.